hello everyone my name is veer and in this video we are going to see how we can uh, run your selenium test as a part of a release pipeline okay so for that quickly i'll flip to my azure devops project uh, so uh, if you remember in the last video what what we have done uh, sorry i'll just go back one step so in the last video what we have done we have created one build pipeline with the name selenium chrome okay and in this what what uh, things we have done we had cre created a uh, you know agent uh, where we have done certain steps uh, in which the first step is to you know uh, get the source code from repository then perform the maven goal then publish the artifacts to artifact uh, directory that is the drop folder okay so <clears throat> if i just go to that last run I have shown you that uh, there is one artifact published. Okay, I'll just show you how it looks. So, so published artifact include a drop. Okay, and in that folder, what it contains, it it will basically contain to your you know all the source code along with the output of the execution, output of the build basically that the class is generated after your build execution. Okay. So in this video, what we are going to do, we are you going to use those artifacts in our release pipeline and we'll try to execute the test cases in the release pipeline. So in order to create a release pipeline, what you have to do, you have to click on releases. Okay, then you have to click on new, new release pipeline. Okay, now what you have to do is you have to add an artifact. Okay, first thing. So add uh, artifacts, you can add it uh, from different source like uh, from the last build. Second is from Azure repo itself. That means you can use the code and uh, you can use your code as your artifact. You can use your github code as your artifact you can use your team foundation version controls uh, project source code as a, your artifact so in this case we are using a build code as our artifact okay then what you have to specify over here is the source build pipeline okay so from which pipeline you wanted to take the artifact so uh, if you remember last uh, video we had created a selenium chrome as our build pipeline okay so now uh, what version you wanted to take uh, for your uh, running your tests okay so always take the latest version okay so whatever the latest version that has been built just take it and execute your uh, test cases okay then click on add so here what we have given the output of, that has been generated in the build will be you know input for our release pipeline okay then so the next step or uh, next stage that you wanted to do is run your test so in the uh, here what you have to do you have to create a new stage okay and again here you will be presented with the bunch of options and from here what we have to do is we have to again select the uh, uh, option for maven so in order to select that option for maven first select an empty job okay uh, give a name to stage say execute tests okay now your job is ready under the job what you have to do you have to add the task okay so if you remember the last video uh, we have added a maven task okay so what i'll do i'll just go over here and if you can go a bit down you will find the maven just click on add now here you, what you have to specify is specify the pom.xml path okay 
so if you remember we had linked the output of the last build okay so what you have to do you have to go to your azure uh, build artifact and from there you have to select the pom.xml okay and what goal you wanted to execute you wanted to execute the tests okay so you have to do these changes again here you have to select the agent okay so by default it has selected one so maybe i'll select uh, windows 2019 again because we wanted to run uh, our test over there okay and i'll rename the pipeline to say chrome release test chrome release okay i'll click on save okay now what we'll do we'll just see whether that pipeline has been created or not so if you can see that test chrome release has been created now uh, we will trigger it manually okay so for that what i'll do i'll just click on create release and our trigger is trigger stage is execute test and i'll click on create so what what uh, it will do basically it, it will text the source code that has been already compiled or built and will try to uh, will try to execute those uh, the test cases that has been created or present okay now we'll click on deploy So if you can see that now the build agent uh, build job has been triggered and it will you know give the details similar to what we had seen on our build pipeline okay so on hosted agent it started downloading the artifacts then it will start executing the our maven goal So once the execution is completed again we will see how the output will look or uh, does it uh, publishes the test result in the release pipeline as well we can see that as well so if you can see that all the dependencies has been downloaded it started executing the tests So see now the execution has been completed now let's see on the test tab are we getting the same results or not if you can see there are five tests out of which four got passed one got failed similarly we have seen the same results on our build pipeline and on the release pipeline uh, thank you thanks a lot for watching this